I will be explaining how to make the matrix operations in Excel. Let's start with the scalar multiplication. For the scalar multiplication, we use the same symbol of the multiplication of numbers. That will be the stars, the key for the star. So for example, if you want to multiply the number 5, the scalar 5, with this matrix, what you need to do is in Excel type this matrix. So open Excel and in whatever cell of Excel type the matrix. Obviously, the columns and the rows need to be consecutive. And choose from which cell do you want to see the answer. So in this cell type equal 5, because you are going to multiply 5 by this matrix, and then you can select the matrix. Another way is typing the cell in which appears the number in the first row, first column of the matrix. So in this case, you can type A1, and then type a column, and then type the cell in which appears the number in the last row, last column. So you can type A1, column, and C4. Let's select the matrix. If you select the matrix, the A1, column, C4 appears. And after you have this, just type enter. So this is what you need to do. Equal first, then the scalar, the multiplication signs, and then A1, column, C4. To see the answer, just press enter. And then you are going to see the answer from this cell. The matrix will appear. So the cell that you have selected, it will be the cell in the first row, first column of the matrix. Okay, so that's the way that we make a scalar multiplication. The second operation, obviously, will be the addition. So you need to have two metrics. For example, this matrix and this matrix. The two matrices need to be of the same size. So if they are not the same size, you are going to receive a message of error. In Excel, the two metrics need to be written. So in this case, the two metrics, first you need to type the two matrices. I have typed already the two matrices in my Excel spreadsheet. And then I choose a cell from which this matrix will appear. The number in the first row, first column of the matrix will appear in the cell that I selected. Then type equal, and then after this equal, select the first matrix. After you select this matrix, the A1C4 will appear. Yeah? So it will appear the first cell of the matrix and the last cell of the matrix. Then type a plus and select the second matrix. After you select the matrix, well, appears the first cell of the matrix and the last cell of the matrix, E1 and G4. And then press enter. So you can see that 3 plus 7 is 10, that 2 plus 5 is this 7, that minus 2 plus this 9 is this 7, etc. So you can see the answer immediately in this way. Uh, the subtraction will be similar with the minus sign. So let's see a subtraction here. A subtraction, you need to have two matrices. The two matrices need to be written first in Excel. And you need to choose, as before, a cell from which the matrix will appear. You will need to type, of course, first the equal signs. And then after you type the equal sign, you can type the first cell A1, C4, that is the last cell, and the matrix will appear here. So another way will be selecting this A1, C4. Don't forget that will be a column between the two cells, yeah, A1, C4. Then the minus signs for the subtraction and select the second matrix, E1, G4. Oh, you can type E1, colon, G4. After you have this, just press enter. The matrix will appear from this cell. You can check that the cell is working well. Yeah? 3 minus 7 equals negative 4. Or the last one will be negative 8, negative 10 will be negative 18. So this is here. Okay, so that's the way that we make a subtraction of matrix in Excel. Let's see how to make the multiplication. For the matrix multiplication, we use a function. This function has two arguments because you need to multiply two matrices. So you will need to type n mod 
as a function and open bracket and put the two arguments inside the function. So you will need to have two matrices, of course, at least, and the multiplication need to be something that you can do. So, you know, the number of columns in the first matrix need to be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. Open Excel, so, and type the two matrices. I have already typed in, type in the two matrices. What do you need to do? Type first this function, obviously, first the equal sign, so, an open bracket. Anytime that you're going to type a function in Excel, you will need to type the argument in bracket. Now you open bracket and select the first matrix. The first matrix is A1 to C4, to C or select this matrix. After you select, immediately appears in the, in the cell of Excel, appears the matrix that you are selecting, A1 to C4. The two arguments need to be separated by comma, so type a comma, and select the second, and select the second matrix, this one, that is E from E1 to G3. So, oh, you can type E1, colon, G3, and close bracket, don't forget to close the bracket before entering, okay? After you close the bracket, press enter and the result of the metric multiplication will be here. Uh, this is the matrix multiplication and there is another operation that is the transpose. So the transpose will be again a function in Excel. So you will need to put a function and brackets. And if you have a matrix, I know that it will be very easy to make a transpose with our computer, but there will be situation in which you need to make several operations and that will be very useful. And I will give you an example so. But let's see how to make a transpose. Of course, you need to have in, in a Excel spreadsheet the matrix. I have already written the matrix here. And then choose one cell from which you want to see the answer. So here, type equal transpose. And don't forget open bracket because you need to open bracket when you are working with a function in Excel. And then this function has only one argument. So select this argument, it will be this matrix yeah, from A1 to C4. So let's type it C, A1 to C4, and then it will appear here. Then close the bracket. After close the bracket, press enter. And you're going to see the answer. This will be the transpose of this. You can see that these columns were the rows before. Yeah? The second one is negative 6, 1, 3. Now is the second column for the transpose. Negative 6, 1, 3, etc. And finally, I want to see how to save time when you have actually several operations. It's in that moment when you see actually the saving of time in Excel. So let's see, for example, an operation that we already solved when I was explaining about matrix operations. So we already solved this in this. So we know that if this is the matrix A and this one here is matrix B, then three times the transpose of A by A minus 4B squared will be this matrix, 3, 0, 4, 11. We spent some time doing that by hand, how to do it in a computer. So let's see. I already typed the two metrics before. So we see here, we see here the first one, 2, 1, 2, 0, negative 2, 3. And here is the second one, 0, 2, 3, 1, second matrix. Select also the cell in from which you want to see the answer. And after you select this cell, just type three times. So remember, you are going to type here everything that you need to do. For example, three times the transpose of A multiplied by A. So here we have a matrix multiplication. I'm going to type equal. So anytime I want to make Excel to work with a mathematical operation, I need to type equal. So I'm going to type equal and then three times A multiplication because I know I'm going to multiply A, T and A. So this was a scalar multiplication. I used the, just the star, that is the multiplication. 
symbol in, in Excel, and then I'm going to make a matrix of a matrix multiplication between the transposes of, of A and A. Because I know that the matrix multiplication is a function in Excel, I need to put this in brackets. So I open bracket and then I'm going to type the transpose of A. But I know the transpose of A is just transpose. I'm going to type transpose, transpose of the first matrix. Yeah? So transpose of B1C3. This is the first argument for matrix multiplication. Because the matrix multiplication have two arguments. I'm going to put a comma and the other one will be the same matrix. So comma and select the, the same matrix. So it will be B1C3. Look at that. This is the transpose of B1C3 multiplied by B1C3. So check that B1C3 is actually the first matrix A. Then there is a minus sign. So I'm going to type a minus sign and minus 4 actually. So I'm going to type minus 4 a matrix multiplication of B5, 6. So it will be a matrix multiplication because this B square is B times B. There is no power for a matrices in Excel, so I'm going to multiply B times B. If I, if I need to multiply B to the power 3, I need to make a multiplication of B times B and then multiply this by, and again by B. So I will need to use twice my matrix multiplication. But in this case, B squared, so it will be just matrix multiplication of B5, C6, and the other argument will be B566. So, so it will be the same matrix. Obviously, if I make a matrix multiplication of a matrix by itself, it, this will be the matrix square. And that's it. That we, I have written everything. Three times the transpose of A by A. This is here. Minus four times B multiplied by itself. Okay, and then press enter. That will give you the answer immediately. So you see here, the 30411. And that's the way that we actually work in Excel. So we can save time if we need to make several operations. You should learn to work in a computer when you're making these type of operations. Okay, with this I finish this, this video of matrix operation in Excel. In another video, I will be explaining how to make matrix operations using R. Thank you.